Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do this makeup look. I've actually just added false eyelashes so you won't see that in the video but I've just added falsies for a little bit of more of a dramatic effect. So this is a makeup tutorial on Lara Bingle's makeup. This was just inspired by the look that she often wears. If you don't know who Lara Bingle is, she's like an Australian celebrity model socialite I guess. She's um, recently uh, started her own reality show called Being Lara Bingle which I love watching and that's what inspired me to do this makeup. Now before we start this video I wanted to get you before you get bored and turn off the video. Um, I'm entered in a competition that um, I hope you really don't mind me asking this. It will only take two seconds you just have to like something on Facebook so if you're a member of Facebook please click the link below it'll be in the bottom bar and like the entry. Now this is to win an iPad which I really wanted for Christmas but I didn't get um, and I did, would want to buy one but I need to buy a camera first because this one's broken. It actually doesn't have a cap over the lens and I can see all the inner workings of my camera. It's quite funny. Um, but yeah, if you've got time please do that. The link's below. I'd really appreciate it. I think I'm coming second but I'm so close. I really want one. Um, yeah, but anyway, so if you would like to see how to do this makeup just keep on watching. First I'm going to use a primer, this is the Arbonne one. Now for the skin, she always has a really um, flawless face and she's got really nice skin so she might not use um, as heavy a foundation as I'm going to use. But I'm going to start off with my Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush and someone asked me what colour I am and I'm in 40 Natural Beige at the moment. And then I'm going to cover um, any imperfections because I do have some pimples at the moment with my NC. 30 Studio Finish Concealer, my Sigma brush and my Benefit Erase Paste for under the eye. And I'm just going to start by applying the foundation with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki F80 brush. Link to buy this with my um, affiliate link will be below. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, This is actually the Sigma Large Concealer Brush. Now I'm going to start with the eyeshadow and I'm going to use my mini little Urban Decay Primer Potion. I need to buy myself a full size one but uh, maybe I'll do that today. Now for this look I wanted to use a colour that lots of people would have so I'm actually going to use the colour Snake Bite from the Naked One uh, 2 palette. I'm just going to use two eye makeup brushes to start out with. The E55 Eye Shading Brush from Sigma and the E25 Blending Brush. So both the links for these blush, uh, brushes will be below. So using my shading brush I'm going to take some snake bite on one side and I'm just going to pat that onto the center of my lid and then blend it out using that brush. Now I'm not taking it right into my crease yet because I want to blend it into my crease using a blending brush. So I'm just sort of stopping it short of my crease making a nice little half circle on my lid like that. Next on the tip of the flat shader brush, so I'm dapping the brush in like that. I'm going to look down into a mirror like I'm that. I'm going to run that over my lower eyelash line. Next I'm going to use my little uh, fluffy blending brush and all you need to do is go over this through the crease. So run this through the crease. Next on a clean shader brush I'm going to take a matte uh, yeah this matte highlight this is Bone from Bobbi Brown which is the best matte highlight I've ever come across. Here's a flat shader brush Tap off the excess and pat that on under my brow bone. Um, now on the inner corner of my eye I've decided I'm just going to use the colour Suspect which is above Snake Bite, just on my finger. I'm just going to pat it into the inner corner there using tiny little patting motions. Next I'm going to take a brown eyeliner pencil. This one is from Estee Lauder. It's the Artist Eye Pencil in Soft Smudge Brown. And I'm going to put this on my waterline and my um, tight line. Now this step you can easily skip if you've got sensitive eyes or something. And then taking a black coal smudgy liner and run it on my lash line. So I'm going to look down 
to a mirror, gently pull on my eye a little bit. People say not to do this, but I find it much easier. And I'm actually going to try to work this right into the lash line. So not make it an obvious line above your eyelashes. And now, I'm going to take some blackout from the same palette and this short shade of E20 from Sigma. I'm going to use this. Damn, I wish I had those under eye guards, but nope. I'm just going to um, pat this over that. Why not? And about now would be when I'd want to fill in these bad boys. I've got a tutorial on my eyebrows. But yeah, go watch that tutorial if you want to see how to do this. You can just apply some mascara. I'm going to use the Maybelline one by one. And I'm just going to actually go in with a brown eyeshadow. This is Chocolate from Bobbi Brown with just an angled liner brush. And I'm going to pat that over my waterline because the liner in there is moving a little bit. Now, I heard Lara mention on one of her videos, like on her TV show, that she didn't wear blush, so I'm just going to use bronzer because she's always so tanned. And I'm going to use it just on the sides of my face here, on that part, sort of in the place of a brush, of a blush, I guess, and then like blend it up into my temple. So this is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. I'm going to use my Sigma Large Angled Blush Brush, which is hard to use when it's just in a pan. Now for my lips, I forgot my lip liner, be right back. And I'm um, <clears throat> just going to line my lips with my Australis lip liner in Bashful. And where's the light? Um, she often wears a nude lipstick, so I'm going to use Max Creme de Nude. And this is the finished eye makeup. So it's sort of a, a neutral smoky eye, I guess. Very easy to wear, could even be an everyday look. Lara loves wearing this with nude lips, um, but she often wears a really gorgeous orangey red color as well, which you could definitely use to dress this up even further. Thank you everyone for making it this far in my video. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. Please remember to comment, rate and subscribe. And if you get a chance, please remember to vote for me in the, in the competition. No sweat if you can't though. Um, I'd just like to remind you that I do have a Facebook page. I made a new Facebook page because I wanted to make it with my name rather than Karen Morello, so please go like my new Facebook page below if you get a chance, I'd really appreciate it. Um, follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, um, you can subscribe to me on my personal Facebook, all those links will be below. And um, if you've got any comments, please let me know in the comments, and I hope that you enjoyed my video. Bye!